To import a new project, we click on File, Import, General, Existing Projects into Workspace and not Archive File. So, Existing Projects into Workspace and now instead of root directory, choose Select Archive File. Browse, choose the archive file that you have. Open. You should get a tick against that and finish. You can see that the project has now been imported successfully. You'll also see that J in the project is a thin line font and not a font which has white filling. Anyways, one of the major mistakes beginners make is when they delete a project, they do not delete it from a disk. So if you want to delete a project from Workspace, you need to delete it from the disk as well. Otherwise, Eclipse keeps the metadata and it's not fully deleted. So let's see what happens when you do not delete a project from the disk. So if I do that, then I go File, Import, Existing Projects, Select Archive File. Now you get an error message that some projects cannot be imported because they already exist in the workspace. So you cannot import them in the workspace. In this case, you have to delete the project from your workspace. In my case, demo S1. I'm going to delete the project that's there. And then I can go to Eclipse, right click and refresh. Then I go again, import existing projects, same archive file. And now you can see that the project can be imported. So that's how you import projects from archive files in Eclipse.